Rodney was actually set free, um, and the reason uh, <clears throat> staff decided to to let Rodney free was we've had the cat for about ten years. It was uh, it, it was um, <clears throat> it was it used to be a, it was a feral cat originally, and we had a staff member that started feeding it a few years ago, and uh, <clears throat> it sort of settled into ITM, but. Whilst it was reasonably friendly on the counter, um, the reality of it was you couldn't catch it. You pick it up, it would scratch you, and and those and that sort of uh, behaviour from the cat. Okay. So, um, Just a couple of things there. When you say he was set free, what what do you mean by that? Uh, <clears throat> he was set free because uh, the staff thought it was the right thing to do for Rodney because of his behaviour. Set free where and, though, Rob? He was set free in a in a um, well. I'm not I, I'm not even sure exactly where to be honest because I, I don't know. But I, I understand it was in a um, uh, like a reserve area. So he was dumped. No, no. Well, he was set free. He was not dumped. No. Set free from where he was he was in a cosy place at ITM getting fed and patted by customers. That was his home in essence. So he was dumped, wasn't he? Lisa, no, you know, I, I don't consider he was dumped at all, and nor would my staff. I've got eight or nine grown men that have all got cats of their own, and they all love, love animals. And so why didn't if, they take him to the SPCA or somewhere? Why didn't they take him to an animal welfare centre? Well, as it turned out, we've just learned about animal welfare in Martin that none and no one knew even existed, so um, that was a bit of a shame. However, they But you must know about the SPCA, Rob. Yeah, no, no, we know about the SPCA, absolutely. But the staff chose to set the cat free because they were all concerned that he would be put down if it went to the SPCA. And that was uh, unfortunately turned out to be a mistake on the behalf. If you were, as you put it, putting the cat free, setting it free, why are you apologising for the way you've treated the animal? You've put out a statement saying, we apologise for how we approach the situation with Rodney the cat. And then you go on to say you believe in treating all creatures humanely and you deeply regret what's happened. So if it was just set free, what's there to regret? <clears throat> well, I suppose it would tend, depend on how one looks at that, Lisa. Yeah. So how do you look at it? I personally wouldn't have liked to see the cat put down, and that's you... why. And that I, I, that I can assume that is the reason the staff made the decision they did. So, did the staff act on their own? Nobody consulted you. No, I wasn't consulted on it. No. A customer who called up to find out about Rodney's whereabouts says they were told that the reason Rodney was uh, dumped was because of insurance issues. Were there insurance issues because of the cat? <clears throat> were there in- insurance issues, Rob? We had fo- lots of false alarms with the alarms going off. That's one issue we did have. Um so it was really an insurance issue. The cat was becoming a nuisance. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. So you you can see that you could have handled this better, right? Yep. But we, we, we yeah, we should have handled it different, yes. So what are you doing to try and put it right? Well working with the, the local um Martin Moggies. Um, and we've actually we're working closely with the lady on that. Um, <clears throat> of we've made a donation, a thousand dollar donation to uh, to them to um, <clears throat> to help house other animals. She's been trying to locate the cat, um, but the reality of it is because it's um, half feral and not that friendly. Um, we we uh, can only hope that the cat will turn up. I understand the cat was raised from a kitten, that the actual feral cat was the mother. She had a litter. All of the other kittens were adopted, and ITM kept one cat who was raised from a kitten. Oh, I have no idea about that. I have no idea where you got that information from. Did you like Rodney? Do I like Rodney? Myself. Did you like Rodney? Yeah. Well, I, didn't, I didn't never really saw Rodney a lot myself, to be honest, but I didn't like the cat. 
uh, cats present at the store, no. Okay. So uh, a lot of your customers obviously took a shine to Rodney and some of them are upset. I understand that, well, you're getting some uh, some unpleasant calls. What's happening? Oh, unfortunately, our staff have had um, death threats um, and quite unpleasant calls, which is um, very stressful for the staff. Um, and <clears throat> certainly from that respect, uh, it's yeah very distressing for them. So what would you like to say to people out there? Oh look, we're deeply sorry that um, obviously the, the, the staff made the wrong call and uh, we regret the actions and um, <clears throat> we can only hope that Rodney does turn up and I think yeah, hopefully Rodney will turn up. Have you been out looking and for it, Rodney or have any of your staff? Yeah, some of We've had staff out, but we've actually been advised not to because of the threats that we're getting. Yep. And the person who dumped Rodney, what's the situation with them? Oh, they were the deeply uh, regretful. Yep. But I understand what they're not at work now. <clears throat> we've um, <clears throat> the uh, the manager at the store has stood down. Yes. How long for? Uh, undecided at this point, to be honest. Okay. The thing is, you see, you guys operate under the slogan, we'll see you right. You didn't really see Rodney right, did you? Well, that depends on how you view it, Lisa. <clears throat> I, um, I think, I don't believe Rodney would have, um, had a future life if it had been taken to the SPCA.